What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and over the past couple of days, I've been feeling kind of bad because as I have been covering this story about the missing Titanic sub, I've been doing some digging and doing some research, looking into the background and the lives of some of the people on board, looking at who they're connected to looking at things that they have done in the past, um, looking at what companies they are a part of, how did they make this money? Did they know this person? Did they know that person? And I felt kind of bad about it because I understand that at the end of the day, as I was digging into these people's backgrounds and their lives, I knew there was a possibility that they were stuck in a sub at the bottom of the ocean. And, you know, I was still concerned and I wanted the best outcome possible. But the way my mind works, I never just accept a story at surface level. Like, I gotta, I gotta look into things. Especially when dealing with weird situations and crazy news stories that just garnish so, or garner so much attention like the news story that we've been covering about the sub. Well, I always tell you that there's always more to a story, no matter what. Not everything is a big conspiracy, but there's always more to the story. Well, I can tell you right now, I don't feel bad anymore. I have found so many little weird tidbits of information I have found some weird connections, and I've tried to be respectful. I have not, I have not even talked about most of the stuff that I've found on YouTube yet, because I've been waiting to see the outcome of what happened to these people. But over the coming days, I will be putting some videos out there about some of what I found. But the information that I just received it definitely, it just, it took all doubt away because I was, I was kind of feeling bad that, man, you know, it's kind of scummy of me. I'm sitting here trying to find connections, trying to see if this is, you know, some type of a conspiracy, if you will. Meanwhile, these people are stuck in this sub. Well, it turns out that the U.S. Navy already knew that this sub imploded on Sunday. So now I don't feel bad anymore. Now I definitely feel like there's more to the story because today is Thursday. At the time of this recording, it is Thursday. We have been watching a countdown on the news since Sunday about how many hours of oxygen these people had left to breathe. People are online frantically looking for updates I've been working overtime, pumping out videos every couple of hours, trying to keep my audience updated. And it turns out that the Navy detected the implosion on Sunday, but they chose not to say anything. They did not report this information until now it is leaking out. So in other words, it really feels and really seems as if this story was used as a distraction, they knew the outcome days ago, but still they let this story spiral. They allowed us to sit here worrying about these people for days on end, although they already knew what happened. Now this right here is really weird to me. And there's been some details surrounding this story that I've been looking at, but I've shied away from covering because I'm not sure if it's just my mind or if it's actually weird, you know, because some of the stuff I'm like, man, this does not add up. You know, I try not to dive too deep down the conspiracy rabbit holes, but a lot of this stuff is really weird. Now, this just confirms it even more. I want to go ahead and read you all some of this information because this is I'm not going to say it's going to blow your mind. Most of us know this is how they operate, the powers that be. But damn, damn. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Hit that thumbs up button. Share this video. People need to know about this. 
A top secret U.S. Navy listening system detected the implosion of the tourist sub Titan shortly after its dis disappearance on Sunday. According to the report, the unnamed, highly sensitive acoustic detection system used to spot enemy subs heard a sound consistent with an underwater implosion around the same time the sub went missing on Sunday and in the exact area where the debris field was found on Thursday. The Navy says that while the data was not conclusive, it was relayed to the U.S. commander on scene conducting the search mission. Rescue ships and planes searched an area the size of Connecticut for days looking for the craft, which was more than two miles below level when it went missing. Earlier on Thursday, the U.S. Coast Guard said debris had been found about 1,600 feet from the Titanic and that the five men on board were dead and that it was, an, it was a result of a catastrophic implosion of the vessel. So in other words, the Navy has this top secret listening device in the ocean that picked up on this implosion literally at the exact same time that this sub went missing on Sunday. At the time of this recording, it will be later when you watch this video, it is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. They are just now reporting this information, ladies and gentlemen. After many of you sat here worrying for days, many of you labeled this story as a distraction. And listen, I, I hate when people just label everything a distraction. Every news story you cover, oh, that's a distraction. This is a distraction. And I get it. And I feel like people use that too much. And it becomes like the boy who cried wolf. But here, this was a next level distraction. Don't get me wrong. An interesting story. One of the most interesting stories I've ever covered. But the outcome of this story was known days and days and days ago. On Sunday. Maybe this explains why they turned down certain equipment. I don't know. Maybe this explains why they took their jolly good old time getting down there to the bottom of the ocean to search for them. I don't know. But this is the information that has now been provided to me. And I find this frustrating. I think that this is just another sign that there's more to this story than meets the eye. Now I am going to go over all of the weird details that I've already found, and I'm going to look at them through a magnifying glass because now, in my opinion, anything and everything is fair game. I try to be as respectful as possible while covering the story. I try to stick to the facts. I shied away from a lot of details that were out there because I wasn't so sure. But now for I am for certain that there is more to this story. And we're going to be going over that in the near future. So hit that sub button. Subscribe button. Sorry, I've been saying a sub a lot lately. Lately, Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Share this video far and wide. And I will be talking to you all soon.